Have you ever woken up to a strange animal in your home? Recently, one family did. Our Brenda Lipinski went out and spoke to the owners about their unexpected guest. Exactly how did this happen? This all happened at four in the morning. It's something the Todd family never expected to happen, finding their uninvited visitor in all of places, the guest bedroom. And you can see his claw marks where he jumped from the window. Diana Todd talks about what's left of her ceiling fan after a 15 pound raccoon showed up in her home. Our alarm system went off. So my husband get up, got up, and he went to check the control panel and it said there was glass breakage in our front bedroom. So her husband went to the guest bedroom and saw something unexpected. He turned the light on and he caught a raccoon climbing up the curtains. A raccoon that Diana says damaged curtains, knocked things over, and broke two ceiling fan blades. So Diana says they sprang into action. We weren't thinking very much. I mean, it's four o'clock in the morning. It was snowy outside. We thought maybe we opened the front door and tried to get the raccoon out. So we barricaded the rest of the house up and got some brooms. So we are running around in our pajamas with brooms thinking we we're going to get this thing out. Ultimately calling animal services to get the raccoon out. It looked like a war zone in there by the time both of them got out. <laughs> he had a pretty epic battle with this raccoon for about 20 minutes um, trying to catch it. Um, finally got it on a catch pole. Um, loaded it into a hide a box, put it on his vehicle, and then he took it to a, a park here in town and, and released it back to nature. And this type of occurrence considered normal during cold winter temperatures. You do see a lot more animals trying to find, um, I guess, a better environment, whether it's sneaking through a doggy door or getting under the hood of a car. But no matter how much destruction the raccoon caused, Diana's glad it's finally over and will take precautions in the future. I'm going to make sure my husband closes the garage door before he comes in the house again. Now, Lubbock Animal Services said they suggest keeping your doggy doors shut and watch out for those open garage doors.